Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. So for today, we will be featuring a game called Dorak. Dorak stands for Dodge Racing. So this will be a metaverse space crypto play to earn game where participants will be able to take part in the race track so they can buy, sell, breed, and train digital assets in the form of NFTs with dynamic stats that will make every dodge unique. So if you are interested to know more about this and get the content updates from my side, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because we will be releasing more videos related to this. We will be having live streaming of the game and in less than two weeks, we will be having an AMA with their three co-founders answer all of the questions that we have about this game. By the end of this video, I will be discussing about the game overview, the earning opportunities, and this will allow you to decide whether the game is for you and if you really want to participate in the incoming public minting of the NFTs of Dora. Also, we will be discussing about the upcoming events, when and how to start with this game. And lastly, we will be discussing about the potential rewards and giveaways where we can participate and get a chance to get them. I know you're excited, so let's start discussion about Dora. <laughs> So earlier, we have discussed the intro about the Dorok, which is here at the upper right of this page. And then they will be having the land and facilities, which will be significant within the game. So they will have a map that will be extending their metaverse, which is also under development. So there will be land lots that can be acquired in auctions and players can build their own facilities. So these are very important. There will be public and private facilities that can be used for training grounds, breeding houses, health centers, marketplace building, utility shops, and betting office, and lastly, the arenas. So you can see here their tokenomics. So there will be two tokens. They have the DRT, which is inflationary, available when winning the races. So this will be like their utility token. And then they have the Dork token, which will be the deflationary token. So Dork token will be having 1.5 billion supply, and it will be in BSC. The initial market cap of an EG will be 70,000 and we can see here an interesting allocation within the supply which is the strategic burn that will be covering 20% so we can see here their aspiration build a sustainable economy within the game as they are already thinking about the burning mechanism of the token we can see here that they have the buy tax which will be 5% and will be used for burning mechanism marketing and dev and auto liquidity pool and then in their sell tax as well there will be burn mechanism marketing and dev and auto liquidity pool as well which is always a question when we are doing amas right so they are proactive and showing to their community that they have ideas how to make their liquidity pool sustainable so we can also see here that their contracts are audited by the Solidity Finance, which we normally see for the security audits. Of course, they also had their KYC process when they had this audit. For the NFTs, like I mentioned earlier, so they will be called Dodge. And then there will be stats that are important for this NFT. So they have the agility, they have the stamina, the weight which are, I think, self-explanatory for anyone that is playing games, right? And then they have the luck here. So this stat will boost the dodge chance of successful training, winning tournaments, and not getting injured during tournaments. There's IT, where if you have that, there will be corresponding reputation as well. And reputation depends on your activities within the game. So having this will allow you to buy land lots, buy and construct buildings, and rent them for tokens. The team is fully docs, guys, if you will go to the website that we will be checking later. So they have Gatti Sparrows, the CEO, Tom Selga, the CFO, and Arnie Sparrows, who is the COO. So they are all crypto enthusiasts, gamers, and of course, experienced in the industry. You can also see here that their CFO has MBA from a top 
year business school so there are links to their linkedin and we can also check that by yourselves and we can also see that there will be breathing so they're calling their nfts smart nfts wherein two nft dodge tokens are sent to the genetic algorithm by a binance smart chain contract so, so ga generates a third nft dodge combining genes from the parent dodge with plus and minus 10 percent deviation here are the links in order to learn more about the game and of course at the same time you want to join their communities or follow their tweets especially they're running a lot of campaign right now actually i will be sharing the glim link in the description so that you can participate in doing some tasks and have a chance to win some nfts and other rewards and guys this is their white paper and this is pretty comprehensive. Of course, we will be going into details once the game is out, which will be on the second quarter of this year. But for now, let's just focus on what matters. So for example, here, the ways to earn from this game is winning races, tournaments and competitions, breeding, selling dodge, NFTs or player IDs, renting buildings or land lots, and renting dodge and IDs. So the benefits of offering players an opportunity to earn DORC on their platform are players will feel incentivized to return and play, players will stay engaged to compete for prizes. Of course, a growing community and player base means more revenue for the company and they are giving this opportunity for their players to earn their governance token which is also a good opportunity for their players also here their strategy for player adoption acquiring new users will be through extensive marketing campaigns of course strategic partnerships where they can also get the learning from the other nft games or even get recommendations choosing the best partners like launch pads as well and including the credible influencers and having affiliate programs within the community also in order to ensure that users will be returning within the game they would ensure that there will be constant updates and game features development of course getting feedback as well from the token owners and their suggestions will allow the project to at least hope for more buying pressure than selling pressure okay, so going to their website so we can see that all of them are docs and i am personally connecting with their cmo this is agnes and we will be meeting their CEO, CFO, and COO on April 14th. So guys, I'm inviting you. So like what I'd mentioned, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can join that. So we will be giving away three whitelisting spots for the buying of the NFTs. And in addition to that, we will be rewarding the top the best questions so you can see here that they have list of work items here so they've completed almost everything in the phase one except for the team expansion which is still ongoing the community growth which is also ongoing i think all of these two are constant activities that they need to do as long as the project is progressing and then for the phase two of course the, the things that are ongoing are seed round pre-sale initial design push for nft art art release and sneak peeks and influencer marketing and ad campaigns so you can see here guys that they're still in the early phase actually when i look at their discord channel so this is only having around 10,000 members very early it's still in a seed round phase so if you want to join this game you can already join their discord community i will share all of the links in the description below and then for the phase three guys so there will be smart contract development the ido will be happening on the second quarter like i mentioned like after ido there will be pancake swap listing coin market cup coin gecko listing and then they will be releasing their game demo mvp which is very important a working game is all is important now when investing to nfts and then guys they will be having public minting of the id player id nfts and the doge nfts this quarter too so we need to watch out for that and take part with that if we are interested to this project so guys if you want to know the details about the pricing so this quarter to the initial public price of the player id which will be crucial before you play the game will be $300 that will be 15,000 pesos and then if you will be buying the dodge 
NFTs. So the tier 1 dodge will be 15,000 pesos as well, so $300. And then the tier 2 will be $200, which will be around 10,000 pesos. And then the tier 3 will be $100 or 5,000 pesos. Before they had a mystery box sale of the player ID, but it was sold out in a couple of minutes. So this will be the chance for the second sale in order to get in in the game. And moving on for the phase four. So they will be continuing the marketing campaign and still in the quarter two, the game launch. So guys, wait for me to do streaming of the game. Because I will also get some NFTs of Dora so that I can share it to the community. And of course, in the future, they will be thinking about the land lots, the facility announcements. They will be doing some game expansion for their metaverse. So it will be new cities, uh, building upgrades, industrial expansion, and so on. Alright guys, so if you are curious with their partners, actually you can also check that here. So they have a lot of guild partners. Some of them are like the biggest guild in the other games like Pegaxi. And you know how important to engage guilds in an NFT game because they will be crucial in building the community and giving suggestions or strategies for the NFT games. So they have partnered with Redefy, People Crown Guild, uh, Steel Wolves Guild, AXB Esports, Hot Capital, and they are still under negotiation with some venture capitals other guilds and launchpad that will be crucial for their project and i think that's it for the game overview so don't forget to join their social media accounts in order to get the details like like when will be their public minting within the quarter two so you can also join that and get your nfts as well all right guys before we end this video i'm inviting you to join this ama session above with a uh, Tora co-founders where they will be giving away three white listing spots with 50% discount on their NFT sale. So you can save around 150 US dollars which will be around 7,500 pesos per NFT. So there will be three winners with that. And then I will be sponsoring three winners of 5 US dollars which will be around 250 pesos through our usual duck race. So once again guys, I thank you for watching this video and see you on our next content about Dorok and other NFT games. Bye!